How's it going everybody? It's Andrew here and I know that I haven't made any videos for a while that's because I'm still learning how to do the gameplay video stuff and it's an annoyance. I, uh, I was gonna upload Secret of Evermore. I know I was gonna keep that as a surprise but I, I can't do it. I tried to record the gameplay and the first version of the game that I used would freeze at the cutscene areas and the second version of the game that I used wouldn't allow the video to progress past a certain point so it looked like I was stuck in the first area of the game in the bottom right hand corner of the screen just swinging around my weapon at midair so I'm sorry I can't upload that um, however I did take a suggestion from one of the subs who said they'd like to see me playing uh, super ghouls and ghosts so um, that's what I'm trying to do that records perfectly fine my issue is, is that I'm very terrible when it comes to the audio and syncing it up. Um, I'm trying to look up some tips on how to do it and uh, it works semi good but in instances it looks like the video moves too fast for my commentary and I, I don't know. So I'm trying to get that sorted out. Um, but if worse comes to worse, um, Shadow of Mortar is coming out on Tuesday and I'll have that for you for sure even if it's just post commentary stuff that doesn't really line up well which I really hope I can get to happen um, at least you'll be able to see some gameplay of that and even if I just have to do kind of a review on it then that's something for you guys so please bear with me um, I know I suck at this stuff I'm so new and I'm very I'm a slow learner sometimes so I hope you can bear with me on that now the actual purpose for this video is the fact that I'm annoyed at what I've been seeing over the past few days and it has nothing to do well it doesn't have everything to do with souls it has to do with games in general um, I don't know if any of you are playing destiny but destiny used to have what's known as the loot cave and it was an area where gamers could uh, basically camp in front of a cave and kill the enemies coming out of it to obtain um, loot basically and this was a way of saving time because Destiny's um, loot system the way it's normally done is terrible it's just broken I've heard nothing but complaints about it and people found this exploit where they could just stand in front of the cave shooting enemies and saving themselves time grinding the loot in strikes and the crucible and everything it saved them a lot of time it never granted them an advantage over other players because it's just loot that anybody can get it was basically like um, like if you wanted to win the lottery and you bought say 5,000 tickets that increased your chances of getting a win and the loot cave basically increased your chances of getting an item that you wanted but Bungie tried to tell people how they should play the game so they patched the loot cave out they said we don't want you doing this we want you to grind so tough luck and this attitude is mirrored in the soul series I recently had a kinda heated YouTube discussion with um, another user of the site um, who disagreed with the fact that I like to use recently I liked to use the scraping spear and acid cloud on people I invade um, and to that I say tough you know too bad it's in the game it's a legitimate uh, weapon and a legitimate spell it's meant to be used so I'm gonna use it I don't have the right to tell you how to play your game and you don't have the right to tell me how to play my game if you if you get invaded by me and I'm using the scraping spear and acid cloud expect me to use them against you that's just the way it works if I was say cheating and I hacked uh, uh, some kind of uber version of the scraping spear into my game where it one shot everybody then you could complain because I cheated but the scraping spear and acid cloud are legitimate uh, stuff that you get in the game and using them is a legitimate tactic so you may not like it but it doesn't mean that it's wrong to use it and that's something I really really don't like about a lot of the games around today and it's been pretty prevalent in the Souls games too. People complaining about other people healing in the game when they invade. Well, 
Healing is in the game. It's a mechanic. Okay? You invade someone's world, they should be allowed to heal. I actually think invaders should be allowed to heal too. As long as there's some kind of uh, limit put on it, there shouldn't be a restriction against healing. It's a legitimate mechanic, and it's a way that you survive a fight. And then there's the complaints about people who use certain weapons because they're too fast or whatever. Who cares? Okay? Everybody uses something different every single time. That's what makes the game unique. It's what makes the game interesting. If everybody did the same thing, the game would get boring fast. And everybody would stop. So the reason why all of these weapons and all of these armor types and all of these spells are put in the game is so that variety occurs. And yes, if something works really well, people will copy it. But that's just a fact of life. It doesn't even have to uh, be something specific to games. It's just a fact of life. So you play how you want to play. I'll play how I want to play. Don't try to tell me otherwise. Because it's just been so frustrating to see so many people come to Bungie's defense. Oh, it's their game. They get to patch it out. Okay, fine. But th it was an exploit that didn't hurt anything. Just like the Scraping Spear and Acid Cloud don't actually permanently cause damage to anybody's game. Any gear that's broken can be fixed. So what's the problem? You don't like having your stuff broken? Guess what? Nobody does. But they're put in the game to be used. So why shouldn't they be used? That's actually a legitimate question I would like for everybody to answer if they could. Why shouldn't something that is balanced and a legitimate weapon that you didn't cheat to get, such as using hacks or uh, a save editor or something, if you got it legitimately, and if it's not overpowered in the sense that it could break your game or one-shot you unfairly, or it's uh, something you can't defend against or avoid, if it's a legitimate piece of gear or mechanic, why shouldn't it be used? If everybody can use it, then where's the unfair advantage? Where is the reason to prevent them from using it? Why should how you want to play a game be the rule set for everybody who plays the same game that you do? I can't think of anything myself. I think that if something is legitimate in the game, it should be used. Because the developers put it there for a reason. They obviously want you to use it, so why not use it? And I know I've been repeating myself in this video, and it's just because I'm frustrated about this issue. The Soul series, I've seen this a lot. Too many people trying to tell other people how to play the game, and it's very annoying. So um, that's the end of this small update slash rant video. Um, Tuesday, like I said, Shadow of Mordor comes out and I'm going to record little 15 minute um, bits of gameplay because that's as much as the PS4 can record and I don't have any other recording equipment right now. Uh, so expect to see that and hopefully I'll be able to work out how to sync the audio properly. If any of you have any advice on that, please send it my way. I'm using Adobe Premiere 6. Um, and it's got some fairly easy to use, um, you know, features. So it's not that it's difficult to use the features, it's just it's not lining up properly for me, and I, I really, I'm losing my mind over this. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's all I have to say. So until next time, remember, praise the sun how you want to, and I'll do it the same.